All right, ladies and gents, we are back, and I just can't let it go. I still do not have gravity, and I had to look up where to get it. So apparently, we missed a chest in Agraba where you first unlock gravity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack pretty much to the beginning of the game and go to Agraba, finish Agraba again. This will also give us a chance to level up because what I'm going to do while I'm in Agraba is clear every room since we're going to be redoing that entire world pretty much from the beginning anyway. I might as well clear all the rooms since it'll be relatively easy. Get us some XP and um, also get gravity in return. Also, hopefully we'll get some other cards as well. So hopefully we'll have some stuff to trade in to get more gravity cards whenever we come back to this area. That's the hope at this point. We'll see how it pans out for me here in just a minute. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to head down to the second floor. Good Lord. The enemies are going to be really easy, I think. Oh, well, it's what we got to do. I'll see you guys back in a minute. And I think I got it, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Our first gravity card. Nice. I don't know how I missed this whenever I came through the world. Apparently, I didn't do any calm bounties or anything whenever I came through this world. I probably, to be honest with you, the game didn't exactly explain to me that you had to get certain items from the calm bounties. So I probably just didn't know what I was doing and using random numbers like I was at the beginning of the game. So more than likely, that's what happened here. But... Either way, we got gravity now, and now there's a chance for us to get one and pretty much everywhere we go, so that's a good thing. Now I'm going to sit here and knock things around in Agrabah and see if we can get a couple of more, so I'll bring you guys back in just a minute whenever we are back in Castle Oblivion. Alright, ladies and gents, we're back, and I just wanted to show you guys that we did get a, another level up as well as a new slight. This is Ragnarok, and... It's leaping into the air and fire a stream of rays of, of rays in front of you. It's three attack cards with a total value of seven to nine. So two, uh, three threes or something like that. I don't know that we'll ever get this because low level attack cards just aren't that useful anymore. But right now I am going through Hollow Bastion and I am just clearing these rooms. Reason being is I can actually do that now successfully because I have found a deck that actually works yeah. for me and the cards that I have. So let me show you what we're going to do. So first things first, we're going to get Tornado going. And what this is going to do is it's going to pick everything up and do some pretty hefty damage to all of the creatures that are in there. So that's first thing, and that's going to kill a lot of them. And then to wrap up, we're going to take out Raging Storm, which I've shown earlier in the series. And we're going to just do a little bit of cleanup. Now, the uh, big wizards that float above, you're going to have to ignore those for right now because they do not play nice. They actually get healed from the Raging Storm, but that's fine. We will take care of those guys at the end. All right, so now that we have that done, we're going to go and pick up this Donald card, and then we're going to use Omni Slash by using three clouds. And we're just going to spam Triangle and let Cloud do some work for us. This is a pretty safe method. Cloud is uh, pretty strong. However, sometimes he does whiff like that and just not finish his whole combo, which is kind of annoying, but that's fine. All right, now we have Donald, Goofy, and a attack card, and we now have Trinity Limit to wrap up the whole thing. Nice. So basically, it's just a matter of waiting your time out until you can get that Trinity Limit and just wipe the whole board. Now, obviously, if these guys are in the ground, you're not going to be able to wipe them out. But you can get pretty close. Pretty close to wiping everything out. All right, Donald, take care of that guy. And you did a terrible job, Donald. Now I got to take care of him. Tornado. And later, dude. <laughs> if he survives this, we'll just use the... Uh... Nope, he's done. Rip in pieces, buddy. Neo Shadow, card obtained. Nice. Anyway, I'm still clearing out all of the rooms that we have open. Um, I haven't made it any further into the story yet because I want to try and get this done. The um, key to rewards or whatever that room is called. I want to try and get that done. And then we're also going to need a ton of cards in order to get the actual room back here done. So I got a lot of grinding to do, but we got plenty of things to kill. So... 
I will keep cracking on here and I will bring you guys back in just a few minutes. All right, ladies and gents, we are back and I'm going to try and do this door here with the, uh, what is this key called? Uh, key to rewards. I'm going to try and do this thing real quick. So first and foremost, I have two of these random Joker cards. So I'm going to go ahead and use that on the blue um, because we're never going to get enough blues in this playthrough because we're so far along in order to finish that. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, as for the reds, we should be able to get 40 done with that pretty easily, I believe, just by doing this and that. Perfect. Now, our issue is the greens. There's no way we're going to get enough greens for this in order to get 20, so I'm again going to use our random joker. And there we go. Key to rewards. Now... The reason that I did that and used all of our random jokers up is because this is the last key to rewards in the game. This is, uh, from what I understand, the last world, right? Because after we go and defeat Marluxia, it should be it. Or Marluxia and Axel, or... I mean, those are the only two that are left, right? That we haven't beaten, so... I would imagine that after we beat them, there's nothing left. So I think this is our only chance to get another key to reward so here we go one chest let's see what we got Sora learns super glide fly through the air with velocity by holding circle okay well I was hoping for a really cool ability but I mean this is this is kind of cool it's gonna make traveling around faster which I guess is nice I was just hoping for something that was a little bit more, nah, deadly. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep clearing out these rooms, get ourselves leveled up some more, and I'll bring you guys back in just a few minutes. Alrighty, what's going on guys? It is Killer Drone, and we are back here with some Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done some leveling up off camera, cleared some rooms and things like that. I still don't have any more gravity cards. I only have the two, but that's fine because we're about to go into the boss arenas anyway, I believe. So that really doesn't matter. What I need to do instead is get my deck set up to get the bosses done. So let's go ahead and take a look here at what all I want to change. First off, these magic cards probably are not going to be able to be landed on the um, boss fights. So let's go ahead and remove those. And let's go back and grab stop because lethal frame, as we already know, is ridiculously overpowered. And having that is always a very good thing to have. So let's go ahead and set those up. So we have one, two, three, four, five lethal frames set up and ready to go. And then we also have some cloud cards, which I think I'm going to keep on here, actually. I think I would like to try and hit him with some Omni Slashes if we can. I think that'll be a pretty good thing to try and use. We also have all of our heals still, but we still have some CP left over. What else should we do? Should we just add in some more attack cards? I feel like that's probably a good idea. Just any type of attack cards to where we can... Especially if we can block them, if we can uh, get this guy some type of counter cards in here. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some of these in there. Because right now I don't think I have any real counter cards in here. Why is this one way down here? Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in just a minute. Uh, let's see. I think I placed that in down there on accident. Remove cards. Where'd that go? Give me that. That was a wishing star card. Yeah, bring this up here. Um, let's see. Let's just put it like there. Yeah, that'll do. We'll kind of mix these zero cards throughout. Put this, I don't know, there. Something like that. And then this one we will put right here. Sure, that'll do. That should be enough. Wait. Man, we got too many now. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Let's remove this one. 
Yeah, sure, that ought to do. All right, and then we also have all of the cloud cards. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we should be good to go for a boss. Let's give it a try. All right, so all we have to do, I've already used the green, and I think it was a blue that we had to do here, and all we have to do is get all of our cards to add up to 99. Or what we can do is use this random Joker card and not have to do that. So I would rather do that and then key of beginnings. Booyah! We are ready to go. Yeah, I really like those random Joker cards. Very nice. Luxine paid the price for disloyalty when she disappeared. You must do the same! <laughs> The organization's betrayed. In that name, I will annihilate you. That line's not you. Well, had to try it once, you know. Is that your shield? Won't do you any good, I'm afraid. I wonder. Are you listening, Sora? Oh? Axel says he's willing to harm Naminé to get me. You won't let that happen, will you? Oh, come now. You're Marluxia's puppet already? After I finish you, he's next. Hmm. <laughs> now, Sora, we've got more in common than you might think. I'd really rather not fight you. But I can't dishonor the organization, now can I? All right, here we go. So we have already fought Axel one time, but this time he's going to be much, much stronger. So let's give it a try here. Bring it on, Axel. Leave the frame, baby. Right out the gate. Get that health bar down. It's too scary looking. <laughs> no, thank you. Nice. Lethal frame you again. Dude, you were just getting wrecked. Got him again. <laughs> Dude, you were just not able to do anything, are you? Go, Donald, go. All right, reload my cards. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a hard card, that's a hard card. All right, we're good. Good job. Nice. The problem is you keep hitting me. All right, let's go, son. Lethal frame. Booyah! Got you again. Later, son. And you're done. Goodbye, Axel. Nighty night. <laughs> hey, dude, this deck, the way that I have it set up for bosses. Is just unbelievably powerful. Unbelievable. Nice. Card obtained, Axel. You're better than I thought you'd be. 
It was worth saving you after all. Saving me? What do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, I would hate to kill the suspense. Axel! Well, 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 all righty then. It dropped us back off into the moment's reprieve. All right, let's go ahead and save up. Castle Oblivion, save. Man, that was not a long fight at all. I thought it was gonna be longer than that, but we actually got it done pretty quickly. All right, where do we need to go next? Why did we get dropped back off in here? Um, I guess this door is now open. I would think it would be that one, but okay. Well, let's go see. Let's go and see. That's all we can do at this point. Now, a lot of these rooms you guys probably will not recognize because we had to come back through here a second time. So I just kind of did that off camera where we went through here a second time. So that's why some of these rooms may look unfamiliar. Like this one, it's very big and open. This is called Teeming Darkness. Yeah. It's a room where a ton of Heartless spawn, so. Oh man, I still have my boss deck. Oh well, that's fine. Let's go. What we can do is we can wait for a Goofy card and then we'll use uh, the Trinity limit Let's go. and we'll be fine. Goofy, got it. Donald, Goofy, attack card. Trinity limit, let's go. Bing, lock it, and they're done. Not bad, I'll take it. Yeah, that Trinity limit uh, ability is ridiculously powerful. I like it. All right, I'm not actually going to change my deck because if we could just wait for Trinity limits, then there's no point in changing it. And I'm sure we're about to fight Marluxia, so that's kind of where the game seems to be going. Ooh, this door was not here earlier. Hello, new door. A room where Heartless are drowsy and easy to ambush. Uh, I really don't care, to be honest with you, which kind of door we do. Let's do, uh, let's do a Calm Bounty, I guess. If I don't have to fight anything else throughout this playthrough, as far as like regular Heartless, that would be great, because I'd rather just get to the bosses at this point. Go ahead and keep knocking all this stuff, though. Just in case we need Moogle points for anything. That's a new door. Are we getting new areas as we go through this? Interesting. Okay. Calm Bounty. Blizzard. Nice. All right. Well, I guess let's open this door too. Um, a room where many heartless appear. That one may not be bad if we need to do some leveling. Or we can do another calm bounty. I mean, I really don't care to be honest with you. A roulette room may be good. I feel like a calm bounty may be... Nah, let's do a teeming darkness. Let's do a Teeming Darkness just because if we ever have to, like, I don't know what we need for the next door, right? So if I need more cards, I want the ability to get them, you know? Let's see. There is a... Oh, is this the key door? No, that's the key door. Okay. Well, why is it closed? Or why does it show it's closed on the map? Yeah, this is that. Which we're done with those cards, right? Map cards? No, I have one. A room containing special treasure. Yeah, I have one. But I would have to redo Hollow Bastion, I think, in order to use this thing, so... Let's not do that. 
All right, back this way, I guess. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. I thought it was gonna be up here, but it says unknown room. I guess let's go here because it's open already and I've never been here, so. Hey, there we go. You've defeated Axel. <laughs> the Keyblade's power. How I've longed to make it my own. Let Nominate go! You've no chance of winning. Nominate, erase Sora's memory. <gasps> but if I do that... That's right. Sora's heart will be destroyed. His heart destroyed? You can do that! I'd rather have preferred him unmarred. But he can be rebuilt more to my liking with time. Namine, do it. No. Sora forgave me even when I deceived him. So how could I destroy his heart? There's no way! I don't care what happens to me. I won't hurt Sora. I won't do it! Then you will. Do it, Namine! <sighs> I don't care. You can erase my memory. Sora, why'd you say that? Because who will I look after if I don't have Namine? So just do it. Erase my memories. Destroy my heart. I promised. I'll always protect you. You have to believe me. Sora. I don't need any memories to take on someone like Marluxia. You bet. Even if Sora forgets it all. You and I won't forget. Donald's right. He and I can remember everything for Sora. See? I'll have all my friends' memories, so I can piece my own together again. You ignorant fool. If Namine uses her powers to erase your memory, you'll be nothing but an empty shell. Your heart will no longer be able to feel or to care, just like... Vexen's pathetic imitation of your Riku. Take another guess. <laughs> what? Ah! It can't be. Riku! No. Just an imitation. Uh, you're a shell. A shell who has had everything taken. Everything! What can you possibly think I ever had? Both my body and my heart are fake. But there is one memory I'll keep, even if it's just a lie. Whether it was a phantom promise or not, I will protect Namine. Imbeciles. You would knowingly shackle your heart with a chain of memories born of lies? You would be one who has a heart, yet cast aside your heart's freedom? You turn from the truth because your heart is weak. You will never defeat me!